are you going? What are you drinking tonight? Let's keep them flowing. Where do you come from? Where are you going? What are you feeling tonight? And what are you showing? Where do you come from? 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 Where are you going? What are you drinking tonight? Let's keep on flowing. Crash as well, Maker. And what type clip. of gaming is that there, Ray? Pimp game. <laughs> Pimp gaming. Just uh, piece okay. of well, we are live. What's going on? This is the download coming at you. Roundtable podcast, like we do every week, with exciting gaming and technology news. Yes, let's go. I'm joined, as always, by awesome, wonderful people from the Cyborg City Link in the description if you want to check out the Discord. Um, let's go down the line and see what everybody's been up to this week, and then we'll jump into all the topics we got for you. Callie, Drew, Boss, what's going on? How you been doing? What have you been gaming oh. on? Oh, been playing some Dragon's Dogma 2 still. Haven't been able to put that down. Not one bit. It's, it's just, it, it keeps changing, different things happen, and it's a really good game. <laughs> Awesome, yeah. Uh, I'm also playing that. Uh, I've gone multi-spear. I've now obtained the ability, and I've been asking for this, but it dodges. It's it's so oh. wonderful. <laughs> so now I dodge. can... Yeah, I can disappear, and I appear in the air. And it works perfect for, like, ogres and things, because I, I appear right on their back. It's, it's crazy oh, useful. Oh, um cool. but yeah yeah i'm enjoying the combat i'm having fun going out and killing some monsters now but wilson what have you been up to what's going on uh i play a few different games at the minute actually i'm playing some god of war because i've only got about a month left of gfn and i want to play that one while i've got my gfn pass uh i'm playing kingdom come deliverance uh trying to get that finished up um which i think we might discuss that later in the show right um uh and what else have i been playing i think that's been mostly it that's mostly been it um but yeah just hanging out with you guys as always sweet and maker of chaos what's been going on what have you been playing um blast was two uh hell divers with you guys um and some outlast trials for the most part Nice. And if anyone's wondering why it says Maker of Spoilers instead of Maker of Chaos, that's because he told me <laughs> the end of Final Fantasy when I had just started it. Anyways, we'll continue moving on. SPG, what's going on? What have you been gaming on? 
Man, <clears throat> been playing a little BG3. We're about to finish our uh, hobo murder run. We're on. We're going to be on the last boss. Um, but uh, other than that, a little bit of Dragon's Dogma 2. And uh, jump back into some 76 lately. Yes, Fallout 76, that debacle. But uh, that's about it, man. Awesome. I guess that show really sparked a lot of people to probably boot out some fall. Um, so. it, hey, if you want, if you want a stat, this actually just came out not too long ago. Um, always cuts me. Um, yeah. yeah, share it out there. Uh, I'd, I'd be curious. 50, 50, <laughs> Fifteen minutes ago, according to Circana's player engagement tracker, Fallout Sixty Six is currently seeing its highest engagement rate on Xbox Series consoles since October twenty twenty two. Yeah, I'm sure. It's, I mean, it's impressive. To be fair, alongside the show, it's getting given away free right now for Xbox on that, Prime. That well. So oh, that kind of okay. helps. That yeah, that helps a lot. Helps. <laughs> that's just, I just want to give all the facts. Yeah, that's not as nice as sort of cyberpunk taking a, a big bump when, uh, when their anime came out. I feel like that was more genuine. But giving it away for free is good marketing. It gets people into the game, right? Yeah, I paid 80 bucks right for there. it. Thanks, oh. guys. <laughs> SPG, that's salt. <laughs> <laughs> I, I played the, like, beta, or what was it, like, the early access, where, where you, you got to play for free, and then I was like, yep, not buying this game, and then never touched it. Oh, well, I mean, SPG, if it helps, I think any gamer throughout their career has dropped money on a game full price and instantly regretted it five hours in so <laughs> oh, man, i think Scott, we can uh, all um... <laughs> hey i did hey listen i did the adult thing and i played it for lots of hours because i paid for it so there you go hey did you cough no man's sky no man's sky's brilliant not on release it wasn't <laughs> oh yeah, maybe not on release but it just recently received a one percent uptake in uh in steam v uh, reviews so cheers to no man's guy but i want to get into the rest of our panel um what's going on ray you. how are you Yo, been doing? uh i'm doing great um of course i've been playing marvel snap um i've been playing uh, believe it or not elder scrolls i'm back into that playing that uh yes i too played some fallout 76 and i'm playing an interesting game called buckshot roulette where you play Russian roulette with a shotgun with a monster that sits across the table and you take turns shooting yourself in the face with uh, a shotgun. So I'll be streaming that. It's a very interesting game. So uh, thanks for having me here. Awesome. Cool. And Vet, I see you're on your Xbox there. What have you been gaming on? Nothing much. I just, I haven't really played a whole lot, um, but I did get into, bought... Uh, about five different games for 20 bucks that dirt for the uh, Xbox spring sale. One of them was Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 from the uh, 360. So I started playing that and I did do a stream of it. And then when I ended the stream, I thought I'd only been live for like an hour and a half. I was actually live for like three hours. I completely lost track of a time in that game again. But it is a lot of fun and catching up on that, that one because that was one of my favorite uh, Modern Warfare games. <laughs> For the story mode awesome yeah um it uh those call of duty games go back a long time a lot of history a lot of memories i'm sure at one point or another any gamer has had uh, a run-in with call of duty for some period of time i mean last night i saw a couple buddies of mine i jumped into a game and we got uh, a victory i don't even know what what to call it in call of duty a war zone victory uh, but it's just fun, easy, cross-play, you jump in, and you chat shit, and you have fun. So, uh, nothing wrong with some Call of Duty. But, let's get into the stories of the week. Speaking of Call of Duty, there's a new $80 bonus King Kong glove, and it is causing some upset. Yes, a new melee, we melee weapon is themed around Godzilla and the Kong universe. Um, and essentially what I was being explained is you can buy three packs and you get access to this devastating melee weapon. The three packs equaling about $80 or sorry, $60 in total for all four. It's $80, but it entitles you to this arm and it just seems crazy cheap and it's pay to win. 
I mean, you can you have a large stretch to be able to punch these people. It's insta kill, and from what I remember and playing this game, um, the insta kill from melee is only from behind. It's it's not in the front like this where you can just dive in and close the gap like that. Um, I I think this is a, a pay to win, and uh, I'm not a fan of it. But I'll open up the panel to see what you guys think. Do you think uh, developers like this should be allowed to charge whatever they want? Or do you think this is kind of uh, breaking the game a bit and splitting up into pay-to-win players? Well, listen, uh, if you if you bought that, not only are you fisting people from behind in the game, but you got fisted from behind. So it's a hairy, it's I have a hairy to say about fist. That. It's a hairy. It's a hairy fist. Um, uh, oh, go ahead, Ray. No, no, you go ahead. You go ahead. I was gonna. I was just gonna say no. I I don't agree with it, but I don't see it, it changing um i mean we see that it, it's not just console game i mean how many how many games on mobile are, are pay to win it, this is just a standard that i think is going to continue whether it's the cost of a game itself that gives you a bunch of extra things or you know one feature that's going to cost you 80 bucks if it's 80 60 dollars 80 dollars i i could see it going up later on the, they're going to keep doing this and if people continue buying it then they're just gonna every game. You're gonna see more and more games that are gonna do the, go this route. Uh, yeah, I mean, me, man, if there's it, money to be made, make it right. For me, dude, it's just man the integrity of the game. Running around with a gorilla fist. Uh, I don't know, man. I it, you know to each his own. I, I if you got if you're balling and you got the money, and you want to fist people, then hey. Go ahead. <laughs> um, well, let's keep it a hundred, though. If if uh, if you're playing this game, you probably have way bigger issues than somebody buying an eighty dollar thing, like with hackers and with matchmaking. And, and there's probably bigger things to be upset about. But like Vet said, it's kind of atrocious how uh, these uh, monetizations end up becoming the norm and then standard practice. Yeah, yeah. There's guys that buy it. Well, the it's thing is, like, it. well, yeah, but it's not even just this. Look at EA. EA is a prime example of how that works, and they know that it works because that—that's all. EA, you know, Madden, perfect example of of um, that monetization crap that they throw into a game because people pay. And like Ray, like you just said, people pay for the stuff, so they're going to continue to do it. People Nothing's are flexing. Flex. If you people think they are actually flexing flexing in a game with a damn gorilla fist in a game for $80, man. Like, I don't know. I, I, I can't really... I, I used to buy those soccer packs, those football packs back uh, in the day, but good but what lord. About, 80 these, at, these publishers what? don't want to sell you... Th these publishers don't want to sell you one game. They want to... They, they want $200 from you throughout a season. Um... What about Fortnite? Look at how much money is made off of that. Dude, thank you. Thank you. But here's where That's I draw the line is if you're going to have a game in an esports area, um, I feel as if there should never be a pay to win aspect and avenue. I mean, Fortnite is notorious for V-Bucks, but correct me if I'm wrong. That's cosmetic aspects. It's always yes. cosmetics with the yeah. V-Bucks. And can songs, I just clarify yeah. this gorilla well, fish is yes. actually only songs cosmetic. and pitch X? Oh, I have really? Done I... a little bit of look. I have just looked into it. Melee kills in Call of Duty. It's always been this way since the early ones, but I haven't played any of the recent ones to know, like from first-hand experience. So I've just had to go check some like YouTube compilation videos of, of modern YouTubers who play Call of Duty. Um, melee kills are still only one hit kill as long as you land with your knife and it does dash towards them like it always did with all old, old call of duties it's kind of cheesy to get melee kills um the glove is purely a cosmetic now talking about pay to win in call of duty this isn't pay to win however they do have their own issues they've introduced kill streaks in dmz in their dmz mode which um are pay to win with you can pay for via microtransactions. That is a pay-to-win issue Call of Duty has to deal with, and we could talk about that in terms of pay-to-win, but this glove is a cosmetic. However, 
it's a cosmetic you've got to spend at least 60 bucks to get access to which is a little yeah, obscene but again let's clarify the money you spend to get the glove you're not spending 60 bucks on a glove you're spending 20 bucks per cosmetic pack and if you get th three out of four cosmetic packs you also will get this glove so it's an incentive to buy more cosmetic packs but you don't have to spend 60 bucks to Do get it. just the glove you get three cosmetic packs and then you'll go also get the glove on top of that now i'm not saying i'm in favor of that i'm just clarifying details that's dumb yeah thanks for bringing in the the details and the facts like that i, I do appreciate it um but yeah it kind of negates the fact that this is is pay to win um it's more or less the lines of just egregious freaking cosmetics being priced like Those this is stupid. when they talk about dragon's dogma and the micro tracks transactions they're they're small things that help you get ahead in a single player game but this is just egregious like shelling out huge bucks from people um and i just see this as completely different and uh yeah it's it's too bad to to see microtransactions go this direction but i think uh that made a point wherever there's going to be money to be made people are going to be making it you know, yeah, that, well, that, that's the that's the unfortunate thing yeah i i don't even necessarily see see it as like some of the most egregious like dlc because there's like there are some that are like twenty, thirty dollars for like one item, and uh, like what it sounds like to me is like you're getting cosmetics each of these packs. It's just to get the specific one you need to buy all three packs or something like that. Yeah. Um, and 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 I mean that this is kind of how how the way things are going. I mean, in my opinion, gotcha games are even worse than this because it's a it's not even like you buy these, you get the item. It's a chance based like i've i remember watching youtubes of people spending thousands of dollars just to get like one particular skin um because it's it's a chance based roulette for you to get that item so yeah it's um i don't see it as like a major issue but like it i mean these games are gonna get closer and closer to mobile game spending as you know how they get our money so it's, it's a way and of the, life. And then the scare, the scary part about this, and all you fellow stadiums can agree with me, but I've bought DLCs and stuff like that. And when that sh shit closes down, you don't get to keep it. It ain't really yours. Nope. <laughs> it's not yeah, yours. We all, went, we all went through that. We saw how that worked out. That <laughs> now, granted, you know, granted, the stadia thing was a different situation because we did get our money back. But if they had gone a different route... We would have been we would have been out that money. I mean, there there that, there I is. I don't think we've no, owned games since the PS3 Xbox 360 era. Yeah, yep. there's. If you want to put I it bought... in terms of Call of Duty, it wouldn't be the first time. Mm -hmm. Um, Call of Duty's released game, new games every single year. People buy new cosmetics on their old games every single time. It's a new game, and then when yeah. it gets to the next one, they discard their old game with all the cosmetics He's... that were attached to it. It's a man yeah, with guns, exactly. in a sense. Exactly. But, <laughs> modern day Call of Duty is like Call of Duty yeah, Warzone, right. Right? right? The multiplayer is all merged into one. So I imagine if you've got a cosmetic, at least the way they currently run it, you'll probably have access to it for the next few games. But how long until it becomes obsolete is exactly our point, isn't it, Rick? Because it will become obsolete. <laughs> exactly. When does I mean, Warzone dude, 3 come out? Dude, I, yeah. I'm sitting here. There's a game called Mag that I used to play on my PS3 where you could sitting there and play with like 100 people that game you can't even play boot that game up it doesn't exist anymore uh it is done and so you can't play with it and so yeah i like, just and sometimes DLC for a cosmetic ah. yeah that and sometimes the they're gone for a good game. so sometimes they're gone for a good reason like the day before <laughs> Yeah. Oh, damn. damn. <laughs> well, sometimes wow. they're gone for other reasons like contracts. Um I'm not sure if everyone here on the panel was aware. <laughs> I was not aware until I read through the article, but World of Warcraft was actually not available in China for the past year due to contract negotiations between uh Steam and the government of China. So, I mean, games as you know it could could evaporate due to contract negotiations and it's a scary world to live in um when you spend money when you have communities 
when you build possibly channels and audiences and all of a sudden your country doesn't get along with steam and you're you're shut off Um, china has always had an interesting relationship with gaming because they monitor their children so closely so yeah some of the rules here are you can only come online with a student id if you were under this age for a certain amount of hours on certain days so they're definitely more locked down than other countries but i think this just highlights how fragile the gaming ecosystem has become since Callie's point yeah. we don't really own our games since ps3 and xbox um, correct and then add in the chip makers and how yeah. these things are made and it's only two two to three people uh it, it could go away one day i'm not saying it will but it could ludicrous um however there is announcements that it is returning and already i believe they saw half a million upticks on people ready to play world of warcraft uh once it comes back online but uh crazy world that uh that we live in yeah the i I believe the the stat was within the first 24 hours five hundred thousand people signed up for oh yeah you know for pre-order basically to get the game back that they had two years ago yeah yeah well i mean it was all down to contract because uh within china i believe like most of the games have to go through a publisher or or someone through that that is based in china and netties is is one and um and they just had a falling out with their deal back like two years ago and this is just them you know xbox going in and working out that deal again and i I think they all like are bringing more netties games to xbox through this deal which i I think is a good outcome well it's it's good now but definitely for the past year that's that's got to take a hit to a lot of people uh not having access to their games but uh i'm glad they they got over it but Let's talk about the new pricing for games. Uh, Star Wars Outlaws has announced its pricey Ultimate Edition, and eyebrows are raising again. Uh, I'm going to ask the panel, um, when was the last time a season's pass and a single player made it more enjoyable? Um, And I'm going (laughs) to open this up to the panel because... Just the price being 129 USDs for an Ultimate Edition. I mean, why do they keep pushing the boundaries of how much they can charge for these games? Uh, Does having one... Star Wars attached to it just simply say nope. we can charge 10, 20 bucks extra? Um, I'll tell you it, why. It's just crazy. There, there's a simple reason, and it's because people keep paying for it. They Listen, keep buying a... stuff. There's an 85% increase in the price from the base game to the ultimate. And the pricing scheme is off, but Ubisoft is in a very interesting position to where they can do whatever they want. It's a high sought after IP, meaning that this game will probably sell and be successful no matter what. Um, but number two is is that uh, because it's the only game they have on their entire slate that has any kind of uh, excitement behind it, they're going to charge whatever they possibly can. The way the market uh, is going, that. I would refute that. People, no, are no, still no, they're pushing you. No, no, Creed. Le- they're Assassin's pushing Creed you. has got some of its own hype still. That's all I'm. No. Saying. You know what I mean? Okay. There are people interested in that. That's but fine, the but they're not revealing point. any of that, and you don't know yeah. when you can go buy the next iteration of that. This mm-hmm. is the only thing on their slate right now that has that uh, uh, excitement. But here's the other thing. The the way the monetization scheme is going is you have to you can buy the base game, yes. Uh, they're selling the three-day early access again, which isn't actually early access, and if the game needs a patch, you might miss out on that anyway. Season passes in single-player games... I've never spent any money on that or been down for that type of monetization. But what they're really doing is they're pushing you to Ubisoft Plus. Because instead of spending the $130, you're going to go spend $18 something, $20 and forget about it. And they're going to get that money out of you anyway. Because you're going to cancel it after four months because you forgot to after you beat the game in 10 days. Like, th- this is the type of stuff that's going on. The gaming industry doesn't want you to own anything. They want you to like it. 
Um, and on the, uh, on the other side, they don't want to sell you a $70 experience anymore. They want to sell you a $200 season and we'll see you next season too. They're not, they're looking for permanent revenue streams. That's what they're looking for. And Ubisoft in this case is a weird situation for them because like I said, it's like the most ex excitement they've had for a Ubisoft title in a very long time. And they're running the gambit. It's not coming out on Steam. Good luck buying it over there. You're going to have to go to Epic or you're going to have to go to Ubisoft Direct. And, you know. I um, The biggest yeah. controversy that I've seen lately isn't necessarily the price of the Ultimate Edition. It's the fact that the like gold and Ultimate Edition should come with a special quest on release. So a lot of people are complaining that they're intentionally holding back a quest line through the the higher versions of the game. Now that to me is just DLC though, right? Which is kind of well, confusable. usually DLC comes later, right? And this who is says, online. Who says? Now this is all just the theoretical, right? But who says that in a year's time after launch that that quest won't be given to other people or it won't be sold separately for an extra ten bucks or twenty bucks? Okay, I forgot one but, of the controversies. The, one of the controversies but, is this as well: you have to have an internet connection to actually install the game. You can play offline, but you have to have an internet connection to play. So it's basically way back in the day when I told you that they released a Tony Hawk game with just a demo on the disc, and you had to have a connection to actually download the full title it's basically the same thing yeah i, well, I think there, that's already the case for some titles like i know for a lot of xbox titles the full game isn't on the disc you have to download the the rest of the game from the internet so why not go all digital and save the money it, it doesn't uh, make I sense mean, me. i mean digital is definitely I, I would rising. Think maybe existing contracts with disc makers um for that, 10 to 20 cool. years but and it's also I, I, about keeping that funnel open right i mean some people love physical we know doragon is a yeah. physical lover right if this was a game that he loved he would want the physical copy as part of his collection and there's a lot of people out there who are still like that it's if you're a business it's about keeping your funnel as wide as possible to get as many people in right and if you can if you can afford to you have everyone on the lower rings paying for subscriptions you have everyone on the higher tiers paying 180 quid for a game and then you have everyone in between you, do you know what I mean you, you okay but if you buy physical if you buy physical in that situation what are you actually getting you're getting a plastic box with some fucking artwork there's nothing oh, yeah, in I that agree. box that you Listen, can play i totally That's agree true. and this is why 90 percent of gamers buy digital now but there's still those who want a physical copy to collect i mean for christ's sake bethesda, people. bethesda was selling a box with the code in it <laughs> like it's an on. illusion yeah yeah oh yeah it's, it's a it, pacifier it's, um, it's marketing. I mean, right? it's like it's like okay, right? Guys. We're all stadiums, all right. You don't need a box in your home today if they bother getting the cloud technology right, okay? But because they like to sell us things, we still buy boxes in our homes. We still buy oil instead of green energy. This is just how the world works. They milk they milk everything dry, right? Um, so easy. until people don't want to buy physical, they're gonna make physical. What's up, Ray? Didn't you want like BG3? Didn't you want like something like a collector's item? Like there is diehard fans that want physical. Right, right, right. But they I would have want had that something. art book. They want that soundtrack. Diehard fans, and they are die. Dude, I got a, I got some friends, dude. I mean, he's got a glass case full of all the extra additional physical bullshit crap book art book digital okay. and all that let me Loves tell you the difference shit. the Loves difference is shit. this the the bg3 collector's edition came with a bust and they made it worthwhile when you go buy this edition you're getting a fucking pdf and some I extra agree. missions in three days early like I it's agree. kind it's of objectively more value but it, it... <laughs> It's, it's also perception on is it worth it if, if you right if you are minted and you don't give a feck about money and you've got fuck you money all right you're gonna spend 200 quid on a hard copy of a game if you like collecting hard copies you know what i mean certain people who are star wars enthusiasts might even buy a hard copy yes. just because they've got a they good star wars know. collection and they want to do it the know. argument yeah. here is yeah. that you're not even buying a hard copy game at this Correct. point you're buying a shell it's a mask of a digital game because essentially yeah. you're downloading the game digitally as soon as you put that disc in 
Well, that's already been case for a lot of titles. Shoot. Yes, it's... and I'm saying I'm saying right now, physical is an illusion, and how long are they going to keep that illusion until we just become dude. all digital? Well, I got I got I got friends that got NTS shit, dude. I mean, look at oh. uh fucking Trump and his uh his shit that he sold, and people went gaga over that shit, I, and that shit I, was digital. So, like, I'm I, telling you, dude. I mean, there, there's always going to be a shift, more shift towards digital. I mean, the stats are showing digital is increasing and physical is decreasing. Right. But, um, but I, I mean, just look at the collector edition of God of War Ragnarok. You know, I bought it. It came with, <laughs> it came with a steel book for the disc, but it was a digital copy of the game that came with the collector's edition. So, like, <laughs> how does that make any sense? And also, I mean, right. look at cars, right? If you've got the money, you can spend millions and get an a, a, a ultra fast hyper cars that are electric now or hybrid or that run on bloody potato juice, whatever, right? But those potato same juice. people who can afford those cars still collect vintage petrol cars, vintage this and that. Why? Because people just like to have things. People well, like their this, shiny things. Let's put this into perspective. Like profit, things. profit is not bad. Profit, you need profit. Okay, but the corporate when we discuss the corporate greed in the direction that video games are headed in, uh, it's not it's not sustainable. Um, yeah, I lost my train of thought. Sorry, but yeah, it, uh, okay, pro okay. Greed, okay. greed, greed. Look, man, if you're getting seven hundred percent more profits in this quarter, that's not going to transfer over to the next quarter. It's not supposed to. You can't keep that momentum going like that. And when we are talking about their profits, it is past 100% profit. Like they, 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 they make a lot of money. A lot of these uh, corporations do. But I'm not against profit at all. There has to be profit. I mean, they are doing it to make money. But it's all about the money now, which is, which is sad because the products suffer. I, I don't necessarily think it's all about the money. Because like to me, like trends are showing digital. Like if if physical was selling consistently more than digital, then then these companies would be focused more on the physical. But the problem is that, I mean, if if you're a company and you're saying, oh, more people are buying digital, let's let's make this a digital copy, or like even Alan Wake Two released and it was only on digital, well, despite being like a big AAA title. What I'm um, getting at is that they don't want to deliver us good games anymore. They want to deliver us live services that are going to keep us engaged and keep the whales pouring in the money. Oh, that that case, yeah. They, I mean, the companies want that, of course, because that's going to give the money. <laughs> yeah. But but in terms can, of just, can I just the digital, ask everyone who's going to be buying uh, this copy of Star Wars? Anyone? Anyone in the chat? Anyone in the voice room? Anyone? I will. Um, I, I will. I will not. I'll pay the. I will pay the eighteen dollars to get it. Okay, that's I'll what I would recommend. That's, that's what, what I would recommend, recommend for but That's also what they hey. want us to do. Yeah, it is. It is. But but you could cancel after one month. Most people are going to sign up for that and forget about it six months later. Oh shit! You already. Can I ask you, what, what about? Is it is it going to be on Ubisoft? Uh, uh, yes. Connect or yeah, all yes. Plus. Yes. Oh, oh, the next. Is, do you mean on the cloud? Oh, on the cloud. No, no, I'm just saying, I mean, I have Ubisoft Connect, so I get the game day and what 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 do we get? You get you if, get all of it. If you, if you sign up for their premium service, if you sign up for their premium service, okay. you get everything right. that's in the hundred and thirty dollar version. But Three days early. Well, I, I am I am premium, so I'll get it. But, but let's not but forget that is digitally. You don't get the, the but, all the physical but, stuff. But remember, they also right. changed their their um the the subscription plan they 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 redid the two subscriptions so they they have that premium and then they have a base one they just renamed them i i remember reading about a while back so there was some changes in the quantity that you get for that so you have to have the premium subscription the high-end one um to get access to anything what yeah you, but you know, let's be honest that on no one talks about ubisoft plus core we're all talking about the ubisoft plus premium no no i know i, I know i'm access. just i'm just 
No, 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 I know. They that. have tears? Oh, my goodness. Yeah, they have just two tears right now. Yes. Just those yes. two. But this is what just I mean. Two. No one's talking about Ubisoft plus COD. No one ever really is talking about that. Like, I know it exists. Half of us know it exists, but it, Rude didn't I even didn't. know it exists. But, but, no one acknowledges it. But, 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 yeah, Wilson, no one acknowledges this. it because no one but, gets that Ubisoft no, 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 version. No, 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 if you no, want Wilson. Ubisoft plus, you pay the 18 because it's like an extra five quid a month, and you get but, everything Ubisoft. Yeah, but see, that's the thing, though. I just wanted that brought up that there are two tiers now. Yeah, that is they, true. They essentially, Worth bringing they up. essentially, the two tiers are essentially like um, Xbox or I, I'm assuming place, you know, in PlayStation. E -play, Basically, e you're you getting the non-ultimate e edition. E -play. Yeah, you're yeah. getting the base game for the cheaper plan, or you pay them the 18 a month and you get everything. So, but yeah, that's essentially what you're gonna end up doing. Well. Well, there's there's a Ubisoft Plus Classics and Ubisoft Plus, Plus Premium Classics oh, yeah, have just, okay. Well, I didn't know uh, the name. Okay. Um, no, no, I was just gonna say uh, Classics is a select number of titles. Um, yeah, it's not even the full catalog. So you might might not even have access to Outlaws it on likely, launch. It likely people. won't give Outlaws. It likely won't. I mean, yeah. that that oh, is a, just a, a me spouting off at the mouth but it likely but won't I, 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 no Wilson I agree with you I don't think you are either that's a that is going to be a sought after game like everybody's going to want that why would they put that on the, the low end tier if they know that people are going to want that if they're going to push people for their subscription plan then you put that accessible only on the high end so even yeah. if you have people that are on that low plan they're and they but they want to play that Star Wars game they're going to upgrade it's all it's how to make how to increase profits and this is a prime a perfect example it's a good business move to do it that way i agree well well i think it's star wars and they're gonna make a shit ton of money no matter what but i think yeah, most yeah. people should spend the 18 bucks and then after you've beaten it in 10 days cancel your thing if there's no other ubisoft games you're interested ten in days. that would be my I, suggestion I think, there's, I think it's gonna depend on like, what all is also releasing around that time because if if it I I feel like Ubisoft do this a lot where they get overshadowed. Like an Avatar game came out last year, and I didn't really hear hardly anything about it. And and that's like a major franchise. So, there's a Case Ball UK who works with uh, works at Ubisoft said this is probably one of the best Ubisoft games he's ever seen, and it's gonna. He said this is game of the year. This is I mean I know he works at Ubisoft, but this is what he said. So. <laughs> Uh, fake news. Don't looking it. forward to seeing it. Looking forward to seeing it. I heard, I heard that about another Ubisoft title that was supposed to be the best. Well, game if it's ever, a, if, but if it it's took a, ten years to make. If it's a so. really cool Star Wars adventure showing the underworld and uh, it's an expansive single player game, people are just dying for stuff like that, man. Here, it's gonna I sell it. It's I, gonna sell itself, but that's why I think the pricing well, scheme ended up the way it was because they're sitting in a in a cool position in their minds. Here's, here's my thought: What happens if it ends up going down the route of say like Skull and Bones or something like that? Do you think that even with with that last game, do you think that's gonna have any effect on this, or just because it's Star Wars? I, I, I don't think nothing. nobody can go. I don't think nobody can hit that. Uh that low. Yeah, well, low. I'm just saying. Do you, I, I, or do you I think mean, that you that, can? That, you can. You be so well, yeah. clever. They're gonna do what CD Projekt Red did with Cyberpunk's botched release. Skull and Bones didn't have the same level of a botched release, but it had a lot of hate. All right, even from its fan base, it had a lot of hate. Um, if they're clever, they're gonna pivot. Uh, and Skull and Bones was also a slight pivot from their usual formula. So who knows what Outlaws is gonna look like? It could be a turn of the corner for Ubisoft, and I think we should all hope that it is a turn of the corner for Ubisoft. Um, because th their formula is getting a little dry, it's getting a little worn. Um, well, but... let's hope that EA's failure is their benefit, because nobody had access to the Star Wars IP until EA messed it up so bad. Well, that's mm -hmm. because, let's be real, that's because EA that's, has... That's a side question. Just a yes or no, I'm interested, because I know we've talked Outlaws forever, but do you think this is going to have any relation or any tie-in to um, Cal Kestis? No. No, no. no. Cal Kestis no. is no. marooned. No. No, no, but any that. references to what happened no. during? Do you know what I mean? No, no. Where no. would they I mean, enter? Maybe... Wait, isn't where this would before they intersect? Cal Kestis? I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. This is between. Is this is between. All across the galaxy, right? This has to be set between know. Empire Strikes Back and Return of the Jedi. It has to be. 
She sees Han because, Solo frozen yeah. in carbonite. Yeah. And Cal Kestis predates that, right? Yeah. 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 Well, he survived. He survived the Clone Wars and all that. They could reference well, it. It's too well, difficult. They, any it's reference cool. would be a spoiler. Order sixty six. Oh, 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 if it, if it does have any references, it'd be obscure. It, it wouldn't directly. Yeah, no, that's that's all I'm saying. I would, I would, I would love to see one. Do you think there's a chance that we could I don't see think an so. odd dialogue reference? No. Ubisoft the the way is... they ended, the way they ended Jedi Survivor, they they do not know what to do with Cal Kestis. Period. Yeah. Um, but yeah, there is obviously undeniable excitement behind it, but SPG, ever since I watched Pandaverse and I started watching this trailer, all <laughs> I heard was Cartman in my head. <laughs> <laughs> so I can only imagine what the main character's orientation is going to be, but that will be for another episode. Uh, oh. let's get into my next one which uh, Lo-Fi happily shared, and it got me excited. This is a bit lighter news here. Uh, on sale, on the market right now, you can get a humanoid, that's right, robot. Oh, um, yeah, the, this oh, is yeah. what I thought was uber cool. We're not talking cool. about this, are we? Yeah, oh, look no. at him dance. Oh my oh, gosh. God. He does laundry. Yeah. They oh, do laundry. This oh, is hey. where the world is going. Uh, hey, Rudix, I just want to know, do, do they make a model with a sexy face? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, you can put no, one no, on. No, no, no. What's well, going what on, cowboy? cowboy? Welcome Talking to the about show. a sexy face, what's up, boys? <laughs> <laughs> welcome, welcome. Hey. Content! What's going on, guys? I um uh, see that you guys was on, and I wanted to jump in and talk some gaming since I got the day off, because it's my birthday tomorrow. All right. Happy oh, birthday, Oh, yeah. nice. Oh, oh, oh here, man. Here's my, here's my question, Anthony. Uh, does that mean we're getting a 24-hour stream? <laughs> no. Uh, I'm actually going to be out of town for my birthday. I'm going to be in Atlantic City for four days, three nights, so uh, you will get no streams. Oh, well, it's good. I imagine there's going to be a lots. video of that, though, coming afterwards. Yes, sir. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. Nice there better one. be. Nice one. You know it. We'll be vlogging, <laughs> baby. But I, I'm getting better at not making it too long, so I'll make sure. I really want a 10-minute video, so I'm going to try as best as I can not to record so much in oh. four days. So, that's <laughs> so, it. What you're, so what you're saying is you've cut down on the intro? Minute. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Well, we uh, we just brought up the technology news for the day, and uh, there seems to be humanoid robots now on the market. Uh, highest power performance in the world. Uh, these things are six feet tall. They weigh about a uh, hundred pounds. Um, they can do laundry. They can move stuff. They can do a lot of things. They have radar. They have something called lidar. Um, I, I think it's the way the world is going towards. Are you saying now. they can detect organics from across the room and possibly eliminate them? <laughs> it sounds yeah, like yeah. Skynet. <laughs> Quite possibly. Um, I, can I just I, clarify, I, though? These are only available in China at the moment, right? Or is At the moment, event? yes. At yeah, the moment. At the yeah, moment. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. so here, here's my thing. Um, did Have we learned nothing? Seriously. <laughs> this was already predicted. No, hear me out. This was predicted, I'm pretty sure, in the 80s. Have we learned nothing from movies? Like... The point of movies is not to make it a reality, right? No, no as long as not it's not so, it's Yeah, they're putting Chat GPT in this thing for sure. Yeah, we're screwed. You know, you know what's with... funny? I, I was waiting for Vet to say, Have we learned nothing? I was like, We did this before? And then he said, Movies. I'm like, Wait, so <laughs> we're supposed to learn from our, you know, our imagination. Listen, man, I, yeah. I'm not going to lie. I'm a, I'm a big fan of tech, and I just feel like, um, you know, it's worth it if we destroy the planet to see where we got to go. Like, how will we ever have got the microwave, uh, airplane? Like, do you want, we would still be in the car, uh, horse and buggies. You got to, you got to, you got to, you got to push the, the boundaries of the fabric of science, man. And I did you just say, to... hey, hold on, hold on. I want to clarify. Yeah. Cowboy, did you just say destroy the rock you're standing on to see where you're going? Well, I mean, figuratively. But, uh... <laughs> okay, all right, all right. All right. <laughs> That's quite no, the uh, the imagery. Saying, man. I mean, but, like, yeah, we we gotta do new things. 
but go yeah, with Science does progress through extreme measures. I mean, we don't get to test them very much anymore because of a lot of regulation, but psychology mm -hmm. over the past hundred years has made its biggest developments through tests that are now banned because of how much they messed people up. Um, some of the biggest developments in psychology. For example, Zimbardo's prison experiment is something that's referenced a lot when it comes to Hitler and World War II, when it comes to social influence. But Zimbardo's prison experiment was shut down after 10 days by his wife mm. because it was so messed up and that, that even the main psychologists started um, being influenced by it and allowing people who weren't real prison guards to abuse people who weren't real prisoners um, just because of how social, social influence takes place. Um, and that's just one one example of what's happened in psychology is how we've learned about um, the psychology of humans. But we can't do those tests anymore because of how much it messed people up. Um, right. phys yeah. Physicists do this type of stuff all the time. And technology does have to push the boundaries. I mean, we talk about black holes crushing the world, but that's how we just about figured out nuclear up. fusion last but, uh, year. Man. Only... Nuclear fusion is now cracked. We are now scaling upwards to make renewable indefinite energy for the whole world. Who knows how mm -hmm. much we'll share that, but they're currently in progress doing that right now. You can go look it up on the internet and read about it. Big steps are being made in terms of nuclear fusion. Um, mm -hmm. People were scared 10 years ago that was a black hole, but now we might have the chance for infinite energy. So yeah, it's an artificial know. sun, oh, hold, hold Magnet on. magnetically on, contained. What could go wrong? I will, I will agree <laughs> with Vet. I will look. agree on Vet on this. The only thing that scares me, though, if you're selling this and somebody my, modifies it, you add guns or you add weapons to hurt somebody, or Dude, you know, you got a rob look, look. robot charging yeah. in. Somebody adds some guns or something I'm to sorry. it. That's hey, oh my gosh! Hey. 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 I want to see hey. this go to America because we are going to see the first. AI robbed banks. <laughs> oh my gosh. They're going to come hey. and give me all the money. Oh my. <laughs> no, hey, no, no, no. Um, we still got to rob people and shoot guns and all that, Ray. At the end of the day, the world, it can be a dangerous place, but I think um, science is important. And, um, you know, unless we just want to stand still. So, you know what? We never want to get anything new. We never want to, like, uh, we don't want flying cars. We don't want, like, they're, they're constantly working. People are constantly working on tech to, um, and not for nothing. A lot of tech is to make things lazier, right? So we, it's called convenience. But at the end of the day, um, look, who would still want to be riding on a horse, right? Let's just, if we take it that simple. Imagine if we never made a plane, right? And you, I and am all would, for innovative, cowboy. Right. I am all for innovation and everything, but people can also take that innovation and use it for evil, my friend. I, they can, That's but you wouldn't know that, That's right? If you saying. if you didn't, no, no, I agree. Saying. But if you yeah. didn't, you, you can make a pla it. you know you can make a plastic gun, you can make plastic bullets, and you yeah, can you kill can. somebody. But you can. A, but a, do we? Yeah, but like, do we stop having kids because, like, all right? Imagine if you say, "Hey, no one should have kids anymore because your kid might be the next Hitler," right? And we just, I, I think, I think, I think, I, I agree with you're saying, but stuff, some stuff's got to be governed, some stuff got to be policed because, uh, you can't look. See that robot? It looks great. It's doing all kinds of wonderful things, but mm -hmm. you can also yeah. use that robot. For evil as well, well. like we I all, said, you can hey, modify hey, that hey, shit. That's, you can fair, modify that hey, shit. But but, but you because, can do that with a card today. I mean, that's it's, how it's, I it's the same started. thing. Have you not, has has anybody watched the Terminator? Have Listen, you watched the future. The fe I've seen it. The uh, the future's okay. coming if we want it or not. As Cowboy said, it, like, and Ray's saying that, you know, innovation is innovation. Eventually, within the next 30 years, ain't none of us driving a car manually. It's going to drive itself. AI is going to be put into a fucking body that can move its hands like we do, and most of our jobs are gone. Like, yeah. this stuff is coming, and we're either going to um, grow with it or we're going to allow it to tear parts of our society down. We'll see where which way it goes, but it's coming regardless. Yeah. I mean, you know, at the end of the day, um, I think... Uh, a long time ago, I learned that if you can't stop something, right, if you like, you know, some people would want to uh, stand on the corners and, uh, you know, um, you know, group up with a bunch of people and say, hey, don't do this, don't do that. And that's cool. 
if you could make real change, then I'm all about it. But certain stuff like this, there's no point saying, well, I watched the iRobot 23 years ago, and that means uh, the, the, they're going to build a robot to try to attack Will Smith. Like, it's silly, right? You might as well just, um, let's see if it can advance things for our children or our children's children. Because chances are, these things we're talking about, we're barely going to see them. We're Our lives, or at least me, I'll speak for myself, I'll be 50 in two years. I'm barely going to see this do anything crazy right they're probably gonna take forever the, this robot thing i'm barely gonna see it being in actual homes because first of all the stuff's gonna be super expensive the average person won't even be able to touch this thing so um for me i feel like but my kid might be able to what? benefit let, let, and it'd be like let, jetson let, 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 1600 let for the base model let me, let me tell you something let me tell you something dude. a not, terrorist not crazy, if you, you guys didn't watch cyberpunk but uh i did a terrorist can strap some explosives to one of these robots and easily march that MO in a stadium and in a building. You, I get what you're saying, but dude, which, Cowboy, where there is good people, people can use this shit for evil. If you strap that and you have that launched in a school or if you have that launched in a stadium or if you have that launched to a house. Yeah, right. If I'm a, gang mem a, a gangster and I want to blow a op's house, I will strap explosives to that mofo and have it march but, in somebody's but house. Ray, That's but what I'm Ray, saying. They need to regulate that stuff. But, but Ray, go. people are, humans are doing that now. So what's, the, what's your point? Right, right. But look at the robot. What I was going to say, Cowboy. Can you do the same thing with like a yeah. drone? Yeah, well, yeah, listen, exactly. you just said There's that this stuff now. is... You said, Cowboy, this stuff is going to move slow and you probably won't see this stuff in your lifetime. But if you just look at history, for one, like think of somebody who was born in the 1900s and they lived right. 70 or 80 years. The whole planet changed in their lifetime. Yeah. yeah, that's fine. I mean, it maybe, maybe not. I mean, we're we're all everything is maybe, maybe not, right? Uh, just saying that somebody gonna strap a bomb to a robot it, because you you play cyberpunk is is maybe, maybe not, right? So well, you know, it ain't maybe, maybe that shit's gonna happen, bro. Hey, they hey, already, SWAT he, teams these are, are in wars. <laughs> SWAT teams are doing it. That's now. already happening, hey, bro. <laughs> I'm gonna skip this conversation because I don't want to be associated with that with what y'all's talking about. So I'm out. Well, uh, I think you. I think you. I think you. I think you launched this conversation. Actually, we'll, we'll go no, down. No, no, no. I'm just saying for this, sixty. This is gonna this for sixteen hundred bucks, would you buy a robot dog? No. Because that's that's nope. the model. We'll go down the list. We'll nope. ask everyone a yes or no. Callie, would you buy a robot dog for sixteen hundred? No, I wouldn't. All right, cowboy. I ordered mine. Ah, <laughs> low pie. Uh, what's hey, up? <laughs> well, let's, let's go down. Let's go down the list. Let's go down the list. <laughs> just talking about you, low pie. God, oh my gosh! All lot. right, oh, cowboy. God. Yes or no? Decorum in the court. Um, me personally, I don't even want my real dog, so no, I wouldn't buy one. <laughs> that makes sense. All right, uh, Wilson. Yes or no? Uh, there is a famous quote by Thomas Sowell, which is yep. the march of science and technology doesn't imply growing intellectual complexity in the lives of most people. It often means the opposite. That basically means as technology gets better, the divide between um, people who have and have not often gets worse, even though it's not meant to. And bro, I don't think I'll ever get the chance to get this thing. This, the, the, the divide between people is getting much bigger. Uh, it's, it's, this is just another uh, aspect Wilson. of that. We don't need to hear yes or no. We don't need robots right now. That's what I heard. All right, all right. We don't need, listen, my final <laughs> thought is we don't bro. need robots right now. We need a universal basic income. There's much I, more. Yes, oh I, I agree. God. I okay. agree with that, Wilson. I, we need better strive towards oh, humanity it. versus robo. Lo-fi, lo yes more important no. thing. Are you getting one? Lo-fi. Yeah, you're I'm strapping an Alexa to it so I can have conversations with it. I got to be a better friend. Uh, thanks for bringing this to my attention. I did give you a shout out for posting it, and I thought it was really cool. Uh, great topic of conversation, though. Fine, no problem, man. No problem, maker. Yes or no, you buying a robot dog? Uh, maybe the human version, uh, if it does laundry, but um, but no, uh -huh. no dog, if it does laundry. So so you're and people in the chat, feel free to say yes or no. Yeah. Would you pick one up for sixteen hundred? Well, that's what Maker said. <laughs> yeah. No, I, I would say no due to um, you know unintended consequences and personal injury on both <laughs> the human robot or the dog. 
and Ray. I, yes, yes or no? Yes. No, yeah, you're I saying love, yes right away. Love, love my dog. Love my dog. I would never replace my beautiful dog for a robot dog. Or Bro, am I the one that said yes? Hold, hold on, hold on. I got a question for Ray. I got a question to counter for Ray. What about a robot child? Whoa, whoa, hey, uh, bro, bro, <laughs> Wait, seriously, did you just hey. say that? Did you just say that? I think he brought up exposed minors. That's what he's doing. He's <laughs> I'm not. I am not gonna answer that. Swift, <laughs> Leon. Yes, uh, vet. I'm just gonna ask for a yes or no. No, no, no. But let me, let me give an intellectual no. quote. No, no. <laughs> oh, bro, I'm getting one for each of you. <laughs> all right all right everybody well it's been an awesome episode of the download let's get into what everybody's going to be up to this week um what's going on Callie? let people know what's going on with you um i uh do not know i'll be joining in on other people's streams for now for the time being until i can get a handle on my life but uh other than that yeah thanks for letting me be on we all right we look forward to it cali and look out for cyborg city where cali will be posting his stream once he's ready to go and cowboy yeah i guess you're going away for a bit um when can we look forward to seeing you again you know i like hanging out on mondays on the game podcast. yes sir so uh uh let's see so this weekend i will be gone you know what i took the day off today because i i didn't realize check-in is terrible nowadays right check-in isn't until four o'clock i'm like what so I, I'm pretty much doing nothing. So I'm probably going to go to the gym and do some stuff. But I might try to squeeze out a stream today. We'll see if I can. I can't. But if I can't, um, I'll be putting out some videos over the weekend while I'm gone. Uh, but, guys, I'll be back Monday, 5.30 p.m. Eastern with another gaming podcast show. Uh, just talking about video games. Uh, anyone's welcome to join. You could be right on the panel. And, uh, you know, we'll go. We'll bring up topics, go down the line. Each person gets a chance to choose and talk about it. And after we're done, then we do a free-for-all. Then, uh, Tuesdays, you got adult community game night. Um, listen, I know some of you guys got kids. Put the kids to bed. Come join us. It's crazy and wild. And, uh, yeah. And then... Uh, Wednesdays is we wrestle Wednesdays is my wrestling league with WWE 2K 2024. Uh, it's crazy while wow, we have a lot of fun if you got a PlayStation 5. And then Thursdays, uh, it's just kind of up in the air, never know what we're going to do. And that's pretty much what's going on on the Cowboy King of Entertainment. And now your mama knows. And now your mama knows. <laughs> All right, awesome. Oh, and Wilson, what do you got going on this week? Oh, not much, man, not much. I'm just going to be gaming and hanging out with you amazing folks in Cyborg City. But thank you for having me on here, bro. And check out all of these lovely creators that's been on this panel. You're all uh, wonderful people with some wonderful shows. Cheers, cheers. Lo-fi. Uh, me? I'm going to be playing Minecraft with my new best friend, Robot Dog. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> turn on your cheat sheet. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Um, and uh, Sour Blow says he's gonna get you a robot stripper for your birthday, cowboy. So, look Let's out for that one. Baby. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> Maker, what's going on? Give yourself a shout out. Um, yeah, uh, Maker of Chaos 12 on Twitter, and I'll be playing some more Blasphemous and hopefully some more Helldivers with you. Yeah, we gotta get more samples after that new update. Yeah. Jeez. Uh, SBG, what's going yeah. on with yourself? Not much, man. I'm supposed to be streaming in about an hour. I don't know what to play, man. Battlefield, some Fallout 76. I don't know. I'll figure something out, though. But, uh, yeah, not much happening, man. So, look out in Cyborg City on what's going on in an hour on the SPGs, whether he's going live with or without some content. We'll see. Uh, Ray, what's going on? First of all, there's people been using AI voices of me for sound clips. That's not me. That is AI. I just wanted to put out there. Uh, AI. Uh, well, and then you swallow the nut. And then you swallow the nut. Hey, that's AI. Fake news. <laughs> I'm uh, showing right. people the AI. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever. That's not me, guys. That's an AI voice. It's an AI voice. <laughs> but but uh yeah anyway i'm doing rock fest tomorrow and then uh right uh rush uh what the hell buckshot roulette 
uh, Sunday. Whoa, whoa, so uh, what, thank what you, you panel. What, it's wait, a wait, Russian wait, roulette game. Wait, so wait, 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 roulette. Is it something like? And then you swallow the nut. <laughs> oh my <laughs> seriously. god! All right, all right. Hey, well, I think that's a different it's not me. Oh, it's not my Check out Cyborg <laughs> City. I'm done. This devolved done. quickly. <laughs> Tomorrow, Come hang out for Rec Fest. Vet, give yourself a shout out before everyone tears each other apart. Uh, I got nothing going on this week. I might play. I'm gonna be checking out Trail Makers or whatever it's called. It's some new game that I just that was free uh, uh, via Game Pass that just got added to the uh, to Xbox after they got a patch out. And then I'm gonna probably play some more Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. Bullshit. I, right. I mean, if you really want to know, I was gonna say. I was also going to play this other game, uh, this Red Dead Redemption Online game. All right, guys. Stuff, it's but... been awesome. <laughs> I'll see you later. <laughs> <laughs>